Hey Virgo, what's going on? I hope you're well. My name is Madam Butterfly, for those of you who do not know me. And I just want to say whether you are new to my channel or whether you're one of my lovely subscribers and you've been here before, uh, you are so welcome here. And I want to say thank you for taking the time to check out the reading. I also just want to say, like, um, I'm recording this like the day after the Virgo full moon. And like, I don't know how you guys get anything done. Like, I have literally spent all morning, like, you know, usually I do clean things, of course. But like, I have been fanatical today. Like, I've been trying to get stuff done. I've been trying to get readings done. And I keep getting distracted by cleaning and like organizing random shit in the cupboard and stuff like sorting out my spices so they're all facing the right way and like organizing my cans so that all the cans are on the same shelf and stuff and like dusting everything like I don't know how you guys get anything done I've got nothing done today I've just been cleaning and organizing um but it's nice it's a nice energy I love Virgo energy um so anyway, yeah, that was just a by the by. So this is going to be a general reading Virgo. I'm going to pull a bunch of different cards and we're just going to see what messages come out. And, you know, hopefully the reading will resonate and you'll enjoy it and um, it'll be useful for you. And, you know, if it is and you feel like liking and subscribing for me, you know, that really helps the channel and I would appreciate it very much. Is there anything else? It's probably going to be a longer reading. You know, but you don't have to watch it all at once, right? You can pause it and go back to it or whatever. So that's how I do it. <laughs> okay. So, Also, please forgive me if I'm a little excited today because it is the full moon and it does affect me. Okay, it does make me a little excited and twitchy. Okay, spirits. So what would you like Virgo to know? What is this one? Oh... Yeah, we're going to take both of those. That's an interesting combination, Virgo. Okay, <clears throat> so the first one you have is the donkey. Keep your heart open no matter what. So you might be currently going through... I don't know. Someone may have disappointed you. You know, one person, or you may be feeling disappointed with humanity or your friends and family in general. Maybe you've had some kind of disappointment in some way. I feel like it's, I feel like it's probably something personal rather than like, not that a job is not personal, but I feel like this is more, maybe someone did something to you because I feel like your trust has been affected with a certain person or maybe this is in terms of love or friends or family or something, but keep your heart open, okay? Whatever has been done to you or whatever you've realized about a certain person or people, know that not everyone is like that, okay? These people have been sent as lessons for you. You know, possibly because you have Archangel Gabriel down here. So possibly for you to learn to stand up for yourself, right? To speak up for yourself, to have boundaries. This is often the reason these people are brought in. You know, that was what I learned. I kept meeting... Because spirit will keep sending you the same person in different forms until you get it, <laughs> until you get the lesson. So that may have been what you're dealing with, some toxic energy. And um, you also have the grey squirrel here has come out. Find new ways of solving problems. And that's Archangel Raphael, who, you know, Archangel Raphael is all about healing. So you're definitely going through like a, a healing period at the moment and I feel like it's maybe because <clears throat> you've had some, excuse my throat, you've had some kind of disappointment in the way that you've been treated in some way. There's also, you're, you're being given a new perspective about the way that you approach life or the way that you approach relationships or dealings with people and I feel it's like some kind of revelation to do with like maybe boundaries because maybe this is the thing, right? Because I didn't realize it for years. I was like, why do I always keep meeting the same kind of person? Because I always kept meeting people who were like, you know, because I'm quite a easygoing person. You know, I always met people that wanted to try and control and control, control and dominate me and silence me, right? Or take advantage of me in some way. And that was being done so that I would learn boundaries, right? And the second that I started saying no and learning boundaries and moving away from toxic people, 
they vanished. Haven't had one since. Every so often, spirit will send you someone just to keep testing you, you know, so that you're like, no. <laughs> um, but I feel like that's maybe what's going on for you at the moment, Virgo. But definitely keep your heart open, okay? Because remember that those people and situations were lessons <clears throat> so that you can step into your power. Because usually it means like if your path is harder, it means that you have a more important job to do than, you know, it means that your, your path is a higher path, right? <clears throat> Excuse me, you have the two of cups here. I'm just going to take that top one. I want to say that you have a soulmate. The two of cups here. Now this is either a soulmate or it's like you're going to find new friends or a soul tribe or something like that. Okay. I want to say, now these have not been love readings. These are general readings, but it seems to be about love. So I'm going to say it. For some of you, there's a soulmate coming in here. All right. You've been very disappointed in some kind of relationship, but keep your heart open because you have a soulmate coming in here and this person is going to be absolutely perfect for you. They may be a lot more natural than the last person you were with. Like maybe the last person was kind of materialistic or... They were a bit fake or something like that. You may find that this new person that comes into your life is much more, like, for example, not happy. <laughs> I mean, I would call myself a happy, right? Like, it's not an insult, but just a lot more grounded. You know, the, the, I feel like this new person, I feel like that for a lot of you, this is a soulmate. And that could be a, re you know, if you're not looking for a relationship, that could be a new friend that's coming in, right? But even if it's a relationship, this person's going to feel like a friend. But they're a lot more earthy than the last person you were with. <clears throat> Excuse me, Virgo. Sorry about my throat. <clears> throat> um, you, yeah, you might find that they're kind of spiritual. They're definitely, they're very smart. Very, very practical. This person really has their head on straight. They know exactly what they want. See how they're both dressed in kind of chilled out clothes? I feel like maybe the last person you were with, it was always like, I don't know, you felt like you had to be on your best behavior or you felt like you had to try and impress this person that you were with in the past or the friends that you were with in the past. It's not going to feel like that with this new person. Like they're going to be gorgeous and they're going to look after their appearance, but in a lot more chilled out way. This person has plans for the future that are going to mesh very well with yours. You guys are gonna create something together. There's a dream that comes together when you two come together. So I don't know what that is. It could be like owning a home. It could be a business. It could be a vision for the future that's gonna help other people. It could be a child. You definitely have a soulmate of some kind, friend or relationship coming in here. And it's gonna be very, very healing. See how it's all the green here? <clears throat> Excuse me, that's what I was gonna say as well. Archangel Raphael is green. And he's very, very healing. He also tends to appear when we are on the path to ascension. Archangel Raphael is the one who kind of, he's very involved in your ascension process. So you may find that you're ascending at the moment and that tends to be what happens when you make these realizations about these toxic people that you've had in your life about the patterns, that tends to be what it tends to trigger an ascension. And if you've already had an ascension, it's like another level that you're ascending to. Yeah, more green. So definitely there's been a lot of healing for you. Whatever this connection was, friends, family, really, you know, lover, um, in the past, it certainly was very it did not go the way that you wanted it to. There was a lot of sadness involved. I think it just made you very sad because I think you had your heart open to this person. I think you tried your best. They still disappointed you. But Virgo, you were with the wrong person or the wrong people. They cannot support you because they cannot contain your love. 
think of it, I heard, I can't remember who it was, I was watching a reading on YouTube somewhere and she was talking about, like, you have so much love to give and when you're trying to pour all that love into someone that has a small cup, they can't cope with it. The cup overflows, they freak out, it ends, right? And it makes you feel like there's something wrong with me. I have, like I'm too loving, I'm too open, right? That's not possible. You can't be too loving. You cannot be too loving. That's not possible. It just means that you are trying to give your affection to people or a person who are not developed enough to cope with it. But this person coming in is developed enough to cope with it because they're very, very similar to you. It's gonna feel like your best friend. And you share such a shared vision for the future. You might actually, like you're gonna, if it's just a romantic partner, like you're gonna just fit together so well, like even your appearance, you're almost gonna look similar, like you're gonna dress kind of similar or you're gonna look similar or something, like you might both have the same hair color or something random. Um, but yeah, with that Five of Cups, you know, it's time to look forward, right? Like yes, your cups got kicked over in the past by someone, but it's time to change your focus, right? It's time to release the past and, and look to the future, okay? Keep your heart open. Remember that this, this person that screwed you over in the past, it was a lesson, okay? And I'm not trying to stick up for them, but they didn't do it on purpose, okay? They did it because that is the level of consciousness that they are able to operate from. And it wasn't your fault. They just weren't, it, you're too much for them. You're too big for them, okay? You're. This new person that's coming in is at your level and they're gonna be able to take the love that you have, okay? Because they're gonna have a very similar amount of love. You're gonna feel at home. It's gonna feel so right, this person coming in. Okay. We're gonna take them both because they came out together. So you have the High Priestess here. Powerful psychic insights, reflection and meditation that provides valuable information, be at peace. So this person coming in, you could be headed towards a Pisces, you could be headed towards a person who's kind of like a hippie, basically, like, you know, you know, like, like a spiritual person, you know what I mean? They might have a lot of knowledge or something like this. They might be like a psychic or something for some of you, that's probably a small amount of people but yeah listen to your intuition you might be doing a lot of reflection at the moment you might even be med meditating but your intuition is going to really help you move out of the past and direct your focus towards the future you don't need to rush there's no need to rush with the high priestess you know think about Take your time, okay? Think about what you want. Don't rush into anything, but definitely listen to your intuition. Um, and you have the King of Wands here. Keep your eyes on the big picture. Leave the details to others. Experience that leads to success. Genuine concern for others. So yeah, keep your eye on the big picture here. I'm gonna put that there because they came out together. You could also be headed towards some kind of fire sign, Aries Leo or Sagittarius. Yeah, okay. You have the hanged man here. Um, underneath, keep your heart open no matter what. Archangel Chamuel. There's a better way. Shamuel, Archangel Shamuel. There's a better way. Pause for reflection and insight. Dare to be different. All right, you might be feeling a little stuck at the moment, okay? But um, this has actually been a period of, the, the hanged man indicates a period where you're getting stronger within yourself, okay? 
and this may have taken you i mean obviously it, it obviously in terms of a timeline it has but it's taken you your whole life to get here okay but it's like a crucial i feel like you're going through a crucial turning point here okay keep your heart open don't because i know it's tempting when you know <clears throat> when another person betrays your confidence and another person like betrays your trust to just shut down and be like right that's it like i'm not giving to anyone else there's obviously something <clears throat> sorry Virgo there's something wrong with me or there's something wrong with other people like I'm not getting hurt again that's it definitely don't do that because this is a huge turning point for you and once you understand that there's <clears throat> there's nothing wrong with you I feel like this has been done so you speak up for yourself more because my throat keeps going <clears throat> um, yeah once you understand that these people have been, or that person was sent to you as a lesson things are going to change radically for you in your life and you don't have to keep working at it okay this knowledge will come to you naturally um, it might really help you to meditate like even if you don't want to sit still for that long Virgo like if you're not good at meditation because I'm not I had to find different ways of doing it like I can still meditate like if you can sit and meditate good for you do that you know even for five minutes if you can but like go for a walk read a book instead of watching the tv you know like get one of those adult coloring books you know clean the house that's a Virgo thing right or is that like slightly sweeping statement I feel like it's not because of this Virgo moon but um yeah anything that you can to kind of clear your head so that these new thoughts can come in because your your higher self is constantly giving you advice constantly showing you the way but because the world is so full and you have so much on your mind and you're worrying and you're thinking about things all the time especially Virgo because you're ruled by Mercury, so your brain's just like, wow, all the time. <clears throat> but when you can silence that, you will hear the important thoughts that are telling you what to do, they're telling you what's right. So you have the Ten of Pentacles here, clarifying the Grey Squirrel. A very happy family life, financial security, finding magic in the little things in life. So there's something here I want to say for some of you. All right, there's a couple of things here. For some of you, this could be a family issue because the Ten of Pentacles often talks about family. So you may be having some family problems at the moment. If that's the case, you're going to be finding new ways to deal with that, okay? And it's going to come through meditation. Also, don't focus too much on the details, all right? You focus on the big picture. You focus on what you want. Say it out loud and let the universe take care of the details, okay? Because when, when you focus too much on the minutia and trying to control everything, it makes it a lot more difficult for spirit to bring you what you want because you're being very specific, right? Whereas when you're very open, it can come in a lot of different ways. So if you're having family problems at the moment, I feel like there's a new way of solving problems. It could also be you're having problems with like long-term commitment. You know, I feel like maybe there's like last, for some of you that have been in a long-term commitment that went awry, <clears throat> you're going to understand why these long-term commitments that you're in keep going wrong. It's like you're having an epiphany about it and it's almost like it's because you're going for the wrong type of person and there's no balance because you're giving, giving, giving all the time, right? Um, so underneath the two of cups you have the chariot so it could be a cancer coming towards you and bear in mind it can be a friend as well an important achievement self-discipline and willpower public recognition this person's coming towards you fast 
This connection is coming towards you fast. Whoever this person is, they are very, very determined. They could be someone that's kind of in the public eye in some way, um, but they are very, very strong. They're very self-disciplined. They have a lot of willpower. They're very like you, okay? I feel like this is the reason that this is gonna work because this person is very, very like you. I mean, you might be very different on the outside, you know, like maybe one of you's a night owl, one of you likes to get up early, like one of you's messy, probably them, <laughs> and you're very tidy, but at your core, you share the same values and they're very determined. This person, they may appear very, very confident on the outside, but I think on the inside, they're maybe not that confident, okay? Some of that may be a facade. Now, that's not something that's gonna come back and bite you in the ass. They don't pretend to be anything that they're not. I think that they, they're just very focused and very determined, and that tends to be why they achieve things, rather than being super, super confident. They just have that focus to achieve things. Um, also, I feel like you're both very similar because the chariot, often talks about a person who has spent their life doing things for other people and kind of being taken advantage of. And now maybe like later on in life, you know, maybe in, I don't know, let's just say later on in life because people achieve things at different times, right? Um, they finally started putting themselves first. I think you've both been through a lot. I think you've been through a lot. I think this person's been through a lot. And I think it's in terms of genuine life experience, like not just in terms of like relationships, but in terms of what you've both had to deal with. Like maybe you both came from like, I don't know, you had to work very hard for your money or you had to look after people in your family or something like that. I feel like for a lot of you, this is a love connection and you're gonna be absolutely perfect for each other. You're gonna be so happy, Virgo, so please don't give up on love. What else for Virgo, please? And again, like it could be for, for those of you not looking for love, this is like a really good friend coming in. So please don't give up on people. What else for Virgo, please? Experience peace and calm. Um, so this is Aquamarine, experience peace and calm. It's also got the master number, 33. That's quite an in-depth number. You might wanna look that up because it's quite in-depth. Um, but yeah, angel number 33. This person is going to be very transparent. See how the water is like very clear, very transparent. You may have been dealing with someone in the past that didn't tell you everything or like it was a friend or something, like they weren't what they seemed or like, I don't know. This person is going to be very, very transparent. They have nothing to hide. <laughs> um, and you're going to experience true peace. This person's gonna bring you a lot of calm. I feel like they're a very calming person. They're very centered within themselves. And I feel like that hasn't happened by accident, Virgo. Like this person's had to work <clears throat> to find their true self because they've been through so much. I feel like they had to rely on themselves a lot. They're very focused though, very determined. I feel like they got to a point where they're like, fuck this, like, I'm not gonna let society or I'm not gonna Sorry, Virgo, my camera cut out. Like, I'm not gonna let this person or these people bring me down. I'm gonna find my center and I'm gonna have a peaceful and happy life. You know what, I feel like they've been very determined to have that. And you're gonna experience true peace and calm and happiness with this person. Uh, excuse me for a second, Virgo. Sorry about that, Virgo. I went to see if I could clear my throat and stuff. Interesting, that came out super fast. All right, um, so you have Feather, 
number eight. So this is about self-mastery as well because it's a number eight card. You have think first before you judge. Let me just get the book for that one because I want to see what the book says in case there's like a hidden message in there Virgo. So this talks about examine the situation. Is your judgment justified or is society tricking you into your stance? Step back and take the time to figure it out. It's not always clear at first instead of acting rashly. So you would never act rashly Virgo, but you might have some kind of judgment of this new person that's come in here because maybe they are very very different to what you're used to and maybe they are a bit of a hippie do you know what i mean maybe you're used to people that are more kind of i don't know maybe they're just a bit different like very different to what you're used to or maybe you're just so like you got so hurt by whatever these friends or family or lover did to you in the past that when this new person comes in you just immediately like no this person's not like I'm not I'm not doing it I'm not dealing with it or you're like this person's a bit weird or maybe they did something maybe you think they act they acted a bit rashly or something like that but I feel like because it's a number eight this may be something that you have to master like not that I'm saying you're judgmental but maybe it's like you have to allow a different kind of person into your life like maybe that's what they're saying because like the people that you've been dealing with in the past have obviously not been working for you Virgo so you know maybe this person is different maybe they approach life very differently you know maybe they have a very different lifestyle to you but your core values are the same also you know and also the, the camera just went to 222 which is another beautiful number you should look up another angel number in the Rider Waite Tarot, the Chariot is actually a twin flame card. <coughs> so I'm not saying this new person is your twin flame because I wouldn't wish that on you, Virgo. You know, I would wish a soulmate on you, but honestly, the twin flame journey sucks and I wouldn't wish that on you. Um, you in the past, this person that you've been dealing with in the past may have been your twin flame, but this new person coming in is maybe your mirror image. You know, like, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> like in the chariot card in the rider weight, like one of the little sphinxes is black and the other one is white. So it's like your opposite. Do you know what I mean? But at your core, you're very, very similar. It's like the yin and the yang, you know? So maybe this person is much more fiery than you or they're like much more impulsive or something. And you're like, oh, I don't know if we can make this work. We're very, very different you know, maybe I shouldn't even bother trying it. They're saying, get past that, okay? Because when you get to know this person, you're gonna see that you're very similar. Your whole reading seems to be about this person coming in. Um, I really feel like whoever this person is, and for some of you, like I said, it's a friend or someone that you're working with, but for some of you, it's, an, it's a lover. But they're gonna show you a different life and you're going to show them a different life <clears throat> whoever this person is they have been used to being on their own for a long time like you may even have found that they've been single for a long time when you actually meet this person or like if it's a friend you may find that they spend an awful lot of time alone they're very self-sufficient they may even be something of a hermit you know so they may take a little bit of time to get used to having someone around. Oh, yeah, Virgo, you have, I am always enough. The lighthouse, don't doubt your worth. So I am gonna read this one out because she says it much better than I could ever say it, Virgo. There will always be someone in your life who doubts the amazing things you're capable of. It is then you must decide to be your biggest champion. Believe wholeheartedly in your own worth, regardless of outside opinion. Feed yourself a, a steady diet that speaks to self-love, self-kindness and self-confidence. 
So I think you probably had <clears throat> a person or many people in your life who for one reason or another have made you doubt your worth. Maybe you actually were in a relationship with someone very critical. Maybe you've just been around people who kind of took advantage of you and didn't support you and because of that it's been difficult for you to actually see your own worth. Maybe you're kind of from a codependent background, right? Like maybe your parents were a bit up and, you know, like emotionally unstable or whatever. If it doesn't resonate, don't take it. <laughs> don't freak out in the comments. Have some self-control. Um, but maybe like your parents were slightly emotionally unstable or something and you ended up doing a lot for your parents to kind of pacify them or, you know, you had to do it for validation or something, or maybe that was your siblings. And that kind of led you into codependent relationships where you always felt like you had to do things for people to get love, right? Um, and you're coming out of that kind of connection now, and you're finally starting to kind of really come into your own and understand that you don't need that validation from people because you're enough on your own, just you. You don't always have to be doing favors for people all the time. You don't always have to be rescuing them. You know, it's enough for you to just be you. You should be loved just for being you, not for the things that you can do for other people. And part of this may be, you know, with this think first before you judge, maybe you've already judged yourself wanting. Like maybe you've met this person already and you're like, I can't do it, like they're too good for me or like I'm not good enough for them, it's not going to work. But bear in mind, this person is not as confident as they seem either. This person also has things that they've had to work through and I feel like you're very similar. Because <clears throat> you might come across as very confident Virgo but you're not actually that confident, right? Very similar with this person. Don't doubt your worth, okay? Please don't doubt your worth. Even like, you know, if it's a friend or something, right? Like, or someone that's offering you like a business partnership or something and you're like, I don't know why this person wants to work with me. Like, I'm not as good as them, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, you are. Otherwise they wouldn't want to be with you. They wouldn't want to be your friend. They wouldn't want to be your lover, you know? And I know that it's a different frame of reference, right? Because in the past, these people have wanted to be around you for what you can do for them. Okay, and it's challenging when you meet someone who isn't taking anything from you. They're not asking you to do anything for them. They just want to be with you for you. That's confusing when you've never had that and it takes a bit of adjustment. But that's something that you're going to have to accept. Whoever this person is, friend, co-worker, businessman, lover, they want to be with you because they think you're the shit. <laughs> Oh, oh my God, this is definitely a love reading. Nobody, nobody else had this Virgo. Everyone else has had quite kind of esoteric stuff. This is my favorite card of the deck. I'm such a, I pretend like I'm not romantic, but I actually really am, don't tell anyone. Venusians, romance, soulmates, empathy. So it's, you know, it's either, it's definitely a soulmate that you're going towards here, um, friend or romance. But oh my god, you're gonna, oh my god, you two, with the two of cups and that card, like that card hardly ever comes out. You could both be Venusians, you know, from your starseed origins, or you could have Venusian guides. If you often have a guide, or it comes to you later on that you see one of your guides and they're blonde, like blonde kind of shoulder length hair, and they look a bit like um, <coughs> Legolas, excuse me, Virgo. <clears throat> they look a bit like Legolas from Lords of the Rings. It's probably a Venusian. I think I keep losing my voice because you're about to speak up for yourself. I think this person is really going to bring that out in you. They're going to make you feel very validated, very listened to, and you're going to do the same thing for them. You're reflecting each other, okay? So please don't think that you're not good enough for this person because this person is thinking, or they will be thinking, probably the exact same thing about you. Like, oh... You know, I'm sure Virgo won't want to work with me because like they think I'm not good enough for them because Virgo is so organized and disciplined and structured and good at their job, you know. 
with the high priestess as well now listen get yourself ready for this connection because it often like it's it's a past life connection all right this is why it's so intense you two have decided to come into this life to help each other to show each other your true worth i feel like nobody else has shown you and this person their true worth before but you're both going to make each other stronger and build each other up no regardless what the relationship is that's coming in um the high priestess often talks about it's, it's almost like a telepathic communication like it's almost like you're going to know what each other is thinking when you're in the same room or even when you're far apart this connection is going to knock your socks off whatever it is like if this is a, a friend they're going to be like your best friend <laughs> like you're gonna yep the camera just went to 11 11 you're going to be spending an awful lot of time with this person. Thank you. And you have the Lyrans. I can never say that. I don't know if I'm saying it right. The Lyrans. Strength, courage and bravery. Again, that could be your starseed origin. It's a big group. It's probably not going to resonate for all of you. So for some of you are Andromedans. That's just come through. If you find that you're particularly good at science or maths, um, very, very deep thinker, Andromedans tend to be solitary, quite loner. They're very high dimensional. They're like, they're like 12th dimensional or something. So you might feel if you're an Andromedan, you might feel very, very blocked here because it's like swimming through pea soup down here. But um, yeah, this, is, this card has come out underneath. All right. There's an 11 and a 12 here, so you ha there's, a, there's a process, there's a progress. You're going to have to be, or you have been, very, very strong. It takes much more strength to be vulnerable and keep your heart open after you've been hurt than it does to become a bitter Betty and shut your heart down and be like, well, I'm just going to give up, right? Because th those people, they treated me badly, so I'm just going to give up. Um, it takes a lot of courage to address the dark side of yourself and to address the dark side of life that you don't want to see. But once you've done it, nothing will make you scared again, okay? Because the shadow, a lot of people, you know, they spend all their time watching TV or they try and fill their day with crap because they don't want to look at themselves. They don't want to look at the scary stuff like codependency, right? You don't want to admit to yourself, like, maybe I'm a bit, you know, needy or something. I'm not saying you're needy. I'm actually, this is something that I had to deal with myself. And it's not pleasant to look at, you know. It's not pleasant to understand that you may have codependency issues that you have to deal with. But once you do it, and if you have the courage to keep your heart open and understand that, you know, everybody is just working at their own level of consciousness. And these were lessons designed to make you step into your true power. Because I don't know what it is you're doing with this person that's come in, but you guys are building something very important. There's some kind of mission. Now, whether that's like you're having a child that has a particularly important job, or you're building an important business, or I don't know, something. This was destined to come together, okay? But it's this strength and courage of keeping your heart open that leads you to this new perspective. It's going to give you a brand new perspective. And again, there's something about seeing the big picture, taking a step back, right? Seeing the big picture here. Like, because it's very easy, you know, when somebody, I don't know, when a relationship goes wrong, like it's very easy to just be like, well, it was their fault. Everything was their fault. And obviously people are bad, you know, but if you actually step back, and I'm not saying it wasn't their fault. If you step back and you start to look at this person like, okay, they were very controlling, they manipulated me, they used me, but I allowed it, right? And then when you start thinking to yourself like, what else am I allowing? Is that the reason that these people keep coming into my life is because I'm allowing it? Then that's when you become strong that's when things change because then you can apply that 
to everything in your life and that is when things change. That is when you become unstoppable. <clears throat> what have we got here? Got three. We're we gonna take them. Yeah, we is gonna take them. Okay. No way. Someone wants to help you. Think of who it might be and initiate contact. Oh my God, Virgo. So some of you already know this person. All right. You maybe haven't contacted them because you're scared of what's going to happen. Maybe you're kind of suspicious of them. Maybe you think it's not going to work out because you're too different or you're not worthy. This person wants to help you, right? This is the new... It's either to do with like, you've had problems in long-term commitments or you've got problems within your family, all right? Someone wants to help you. So if it's like a lover or a friend this person wants to help you. That's going to be, like if it's a long-term commitment, I feel like it's always been uneven. You've always been the one doing everything. But this person wants to help you, right? So that's what's going to be the difference in this long-term commitment. It's not just going to be you supporting them and doing everything. It's going to be balanced. Um, and it's really important, like if you've been umming and eyeing about, like I usually wouldn't say this in a reading, but they're saying initiate contact. So, you know, if you've been umming and eyeing about whether you should contact this person, you know, there's your sign. Um, like in terms of a family issue, there, there's someone that wants to help you. So maybe you've kind of, I don't know, Virgo, you're gonna know who this is better than I will, but look, it's almost like this person wants to bring light to your world. So somebody wants to help you. There's someone that wants to come in and help you see different ways of solving problems. Your help is coming. You just need to ask for it. So this could be your angels, you know, find new ways of solving problems. Um, maybe it's to do with money with the 10 of pentacles here. Ask your angels, okay? there's someone here so it's either this soulmate or this friend or business partner or whoever they are or it's you know for those of you that that doesn't resonate with you it's your angels but they're saying ask us please ask us we want to help you but they can't intervene until you ask them because free will right uh things not turning out the how you'd hoped try to see the positive in the situation okay um, and let's go for a couple of these guys. So things have not turned out the way that you hoped in the past, but actually it's leading you to something much better. Okay, what have we got here? Rejection. <laughs> Somebody in the comments said this guy looks like John Lennon the other day and I can't unsee it. <laughs> so you have that's the crown chakra, chakra of rejection. Let's look that one up first. Okay. So you may have a very intense fear of rejection here, Virgo, because you've been rejected in the past for some reason. Um, but like I said, you weren't really rejected. It wasn't you. You were trying to give your love to someone that couldn't cope with it, okay? Basically, you were too big for that person, okay? Um, that's the reason. It wasn't a rejection. They just couldn't cope with it. Okay. Rejection, ivory tower. You no longer need to prove yourself. This is about understanding who you are and what you have created. Ivory allows others into your life. Choose wisely. So choose, oh my god, I can't believe this card. Hold on. Choose wisely about who you let into your life. Okay, but ivory tower they won't use me. So they are telling you this new person, whoever they are coming into your life, this person's not going to use you. Other people have used you for what you could give them and do for them in the past because you're so loving, because you're so giving and helpful. This new person is not going to do that. They want to help you. Oh my God, I can't believe that just came up. I think that's the message. 
Yeah, rejection is spirit's protection. Others' approval, unsupportive environment, protection. Yeah, so I think that was the message in that card. And I'm going to get one more from this deck. Chaos. <laughs> why? Why? Why, Spirit? Why? Hold on a second, we're going. Okay, what have we got here? Put that there. So you have recovery and you have discovery. Alright. Something happened. Some kind of relationship went tits up, okay? You've been in recovery. And it's actually led you to discover your true self, to discover who you are, to discover, like to work on your shadow side, to get a new perspective, to deal with it. And it's helping you move on, okay? So you have recovery here, which is, this is a third eye chakra card. See how he's got some kind of key there? Let me just quickly look this up. The Lilac Key. Lilac offers detachment as you allow yourself to see the big picture. <laughs> Again, with the big picture. What once may have been immaturity is now about growing into a new partnership with spirit. Step back and allow the angels to bring healing to you. Pain from our past unlocks the door of understanding. Once the key has been used to open the door, you will have a new way of living, one without keys. Where you are heading, there are no locks. It is time to recover a part of me that has been dormant. Facing fears, wounding is strength, courage to face pain, awakening greatness, genuineness and understanding. So you've had a lot of pain in the past, all right? But like I was saying, these painful experiences, they show you a new way. They make you understand, right? So you don't keep repeating the same mistakes and letting the same people into your life, right? Like it's about what you allow in. And you're gonna be so free. And it's having the courage to face the shadow side of yourself, which you've done, because not a lot of people do it, Virgo. This is the reason that they're stuck in these cycles, right? And they, they only live, exist in chaos because they would rather just like, la, 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 I'm not dealing with that and move on to the next person and then fuck up that relationship and then drink more or whatever, right? Watch more TV, buy more crap for the house, whatever blocks it out, right? But you're not doing that because you're strong. It takes a lot. Don't underestimate that. You know, it takes a lot of courage. It takes a lot of strength and a lot of bravery to look at the dark side of yourself that you don't want to see. But this pain from your past has helped you discover new aspects of yourself and you're going to, once you get to that place where you have addressed your shadow side, you will be so free because nothing that people try, you see through everything that people try and do, you're like, no, I see through that, blocked, you're not coming near me. And things that people do, you just don't give a shit anymore because you even understand, you're like, I understand that you're coming from a place of your own restricted consciousness, this is not about me. Love and light, off you go, right? And you have the root chakra discovery. So this has definitely led you to your own self to, sorry Virgo, my camera cut out. Pink from Pinkton, oh my God. In the past, you may not have been fully prepared to face facts. Being willing to take the journey regardless of the outcome will prove rewarding. Get ready to carry a commitment through to completion. So it kind of looks like you do have a commitment here. And listen, they're saying whatever this commitment is, lover, friends, job, new business, it's a person. So it's not a job, it's gonna be like somebody offering you a business partnership or something, right? Or a, a lover or a friend, but it's gonna last. This one is gonna last because you're coming at it from a different perspective. That's why it's gonna work, okay. I am more than I think I am. Are you trying to recapture a past that no longer fits? 
If you are presently upset or struggling with a difficult situation, you may be seeking to keep something that is far less than what you deserve. So maybe you're still sad about this relationship from the past that didn't work out. Again, they're saying you're too big for it. You've outgrown it. It's too basic for you. And that's not a reflection on the past person. It's just, it's just, there's no point being offended by the fact that you have outgrown this person, okay? Awareness is healing, leaving the past behind, a readiness for a new adventure, a willingness to venture into uncharted territory, a new level of self-care, up sorry, uplift, journey, commitment. So yeah, you're leaving the past behind, like it may be new, it may be terrifying, you know, you may think it's not going to work, but it is, they're telling you it is, might be different than what you're used to, but you know, what you're used to hasn't worked, Virgo. You have a rebirth, oh my god. Yeah, you have a rebirth coming in. Like, this is like a whole new life coming in for you now. Destiny. This is, whatever is happening now is your destiny. And look at the trees, right? You can't quite see where the path is going. But the new path is opening up, so there's a level of faith that you have to take with this new companion, okay? Because you can't quite see where it's going. And you know, part of the spiritual journey, Virgo, is faith. And that might be one of your lessons, you know? But it is your destiny. Support. I want to reshuffle that one. I feel like I just dropped it. Get a couple more from this deck, please. Anything else from this deck for Virgo? No? Excuse me. No, we're going to go into a different deck. And this is my last deck, Virgo. I'm going to get a couple of cards from this one. Or whatever wants to come out. Any other messages for Virgo? It's so funny the cards are not coming out. Makes me think you've been feeling stuck for a while. Anything else for Virgo? Acknowledgement. Look after yourself by acknowledging your desires and needs and taking steps to meet them. Examine and note your gifts, talents and achievements. When you, oh my God, yeah, this is about shadow work. When you accept all aspects of yourself, you feel centered and confident, then you can genuinely acknowledge others. Become aware and nurture the good qualities of the people in your life so they feel relaxed and happy in your presence. Angel wisdom reminds you to recognize who you truly are, an evolved spirit in a human body. When you acknowledge your spiritual dimensions, you will align with your true self and your spirit will soar. Affirmation, I acknowledge who I truly am. So again, you've been doing a lot of shadow work. You may not have wanted to do it. Nobody really wants to. It fucking sucks. Um, but like I was saying earlier, when you acknowledge... Because I feel like, especially you, Virgo, you're very critical of yourself. You're very hard on yourself, you know, and you may not have... You may not have wanted to acknowledge that maybe you're a bit codependent or a bit needy or something. I don't know what it was. I feel like it's a codependency thing. Um, you may not have wanted to acknowledge that, right? But when you do, when you understand that there are no bad parts of yourself, I mean, unless you're like doing bad stuff to people, right? <laughs> like, you know, that part of yourself, you know, unless you're like a, you know, chopping people up and keeping them in your freezer or something that's that's not cool right but like if there's a little aspect of yourself where you're kind of codependent 
doesn't make you a bad person. It means that you're very loving. There's nothing wrong with being loving. Like I keep saying, the person in your past or the people in your past, they may have made you felt that way because they just couldn't deal with it. You know, you were basically too loving for them. Um, but once you actually look at it, you know, it's going to make you feel a lot stronger within yourself because then you recognize these patterns and you can change them and you can apply it to every aspect of your life. And you have communication, oh my god. So the communication, there's going to be some kind of communication with this person soon. This is almost going to be, all right, you're almost going to have like a telepathic communication with this person, but it's going to be such, I feel like you didn't have a, a good communication with this person in your past. So I don't know if that, like I've had real problems with my throat during this whole reading, so I don't know if that means this other person shouted you down a lot, right? Ah, oh, why do you always say stupid things? Like, that's not right. You don't know what you're talking about, right? Especially if they do it in public, because that's, that's not cool, right? That's deliberately trying to undermine you and humiliate you in public, right? That's not cool. I mean, it's not cool to do it ever, but I think it's, I don't know. I think it's particularly humiliating to have someone that you're supposed to love do that to you in public, right? But that may have been what they were doing, you know? And all the time, this may have been the thing. Or like there was something this person didn't tell you, like they weren't transparent for some reason, but this new person, communication. The angels remind you that being spiritual is about being genuine and honest. When you speak from the heart, others feel the resonance of your truth and trust you. Talk positively, focus on the good in your life, and you will feel happier and healthier. Here we go. Communication is a two-way process. Listen with interest and respond openly. This will improve all relationships. Communicate constantly with source using prayer, which is asking, and meditation, which is listening. Always keep channels of communication open. Be a bridge to others' hearts and minds. Ask your angel to step into your aura and communicate in a higher way with you. Affirmation, I communicate clearly and honestly. So this new connection, there's gonna be a lot of very healthy, open and honest communication, all right? That's what I wanna say, and I feel like that's what's been missing in your life up until this point. This person will not judge you for saying anything. I mean, to a point, right? <laughs> like, if, you know, if you tell her you like to murder people or tell him you like to murder people. I don't know, maybe they might not be down with that, right? But like, they're, they're gonna want to hear your opinion on stuff, right? They're gonna want to listen to you because they love you, they like you, that's why they want you in their life. Um, so it's gonna be very open, awesome communication. You're gonna be so close to this person. So, so close, Virgo, so close. Um, I think that's everything I wanted to say. I know this was a super long reading, but I did say it was going to be long, you know. Obviously, you can watch it in little bits or whatever, but is there anything else? I think that's it. So I'm going to leave it there, Virgo. Um, many, many thanks for watching. I hope it resonated. I hope it was useful. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did and it, you know, it resonated and stuff, and you feel like liking and subscribing for me, I'd appreciate that so much because it really helps the channel. Um, enjoy, you know, if you're seeing, if you're watching this um, around about the full moon, enjoy the rest of the Virgo full moon energy. Many, many blessings, Virgo. Love and light.